Celtic surgeon Brian McKeon demonstrated how they fixed Schilling's ankle. I don't think it's recommended in the uh, published literature for sure, but this is an extremely unique situation, and I think uh, they pulled it off. They just took a bunch of tissue and what we call subcutaneous tissue, the tissue underneath the skin, and sort of made a buttress, literally a little dam to prevent the tendon from popping out over the bone. You're an orthopedic specialist, but I have a feeling that in a lot of ways you have to deal with the whole body and even the mind a little bit too, right? Oh, and there's no question there's a major psychological and mental component to injury, so staying enthusiastic and being available to talk to the players on any level is always very important for healing. Cartilage is the covering bone. Uh, if you have a chicken bone and white stuff, that's articular cartilage. If I can replace cartilage with normal cartilaginous tissue, or at least the most normal tissue I can get, I can assume that tissue will be more durable. One of the basic tenets in orthopedics and sports medicine in general is um, to try to reproduce normal tissue to what it's supposed to be. Guys have uh, maintained their conditioning a little bit more this year. I think that's been a great tribute to Danny Ainge coming on board. So overall, I've seen a much, uh, in my opinion, uh, decreased injury this season. Absolutely. All right, let's talk about the, the number one medical story around the Celtics this year. That, of course, is Rafe LaFrance. Uh, take us right from the start. Sure. When Rafe was traded, um, <clears throat> he had some patella tendonitis. That was the biggest issue. And any veteran that's traded, you know, a six or seven-year man is going to have some type of baggage, if you will.